Stations of the Cross, Day 12. Today's reading is taken from Luke 24, starting at verse 13. Now the same day, two of them were going to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem. They were talking with each other about everything that had happened. And as they talked and discussed these things with each other, Jesus himself came up and walked with them. But they were kept from recognizing him. He asked them, what are you discussing together as you walk along? They stood still, their faces downcast. One of them named Cleopas asked him, are you the only one visiting Jerusalem who does not know these things that have happened there in these days? What things, he asked. About Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. He was a prophet, a powerful in word and deed before God and all the people. The chief priests and our rulers handed him over to be sentenced to death and they crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one who was going to redeem Israel. And what is more, it is the third day since this took place. In addition, some of our women amazed us. They went to the tomb early this morning, but didn't find his body. They came and told us they had seen a vision of angels who said he was alive. Then some of our companions went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said. But they did not see Jesus. He said to them, how foolish you are and how slow to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Did not the Messiah have to suffer these things and then enter his glory? And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he explained to them what was said in scripture concerning himself. As they approached the village to which they were going, Jesus continued on as if he was going further. But they urged him strongly, stay with us, for it's nearly evening, the day is almost over. So he went in and stayed with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and began to give it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, and he disappeared from their sight. This morning, our devotion is brought to us by Major Bruce Power. Jesus is alive and wanting to walk beside us, but even more incredibly, to dwell in us individually as persons who responded in faith and collectively as his body who incarnate his presence over time and space. Paul understood the truth when he described the church as the body of Christ. The power of the spirit of Jesus that is incarnated turned into flesh in the humanity of his body. As Adam became a living soul made in the image of God by the breath of his life, the breath of God, the spirit recreates a body which in striving to be like Jesus allows God to be present and available in the midst of his creation. In works of mercy and love that embody the essence of the character and nature of God brought to life in space and time. Here I am, waiting on you, finding life and hope in you, expecting the miracle of Christ alive today as it was on that first resurrection morning. Raise me to a new life in you. May you be alive in me. Let's pray together, brought to us by Major Dennis Skipper. Dear Lord Jesus, I have walked in your footsteps today. I have pondered the meaning of each station of the cross. I have discovered that I identify with you at various points in your willing journey to the cross. Assist me when the spiritual journey is difficult and I fail with my burden to look to you, Lord. You've experienced it all before me. You walk with me, lifting me up, encouraging me to go on trusting you. For you know the end from the beginning. You are the Lord, my living Lord. Thank you for your warm, living presence in my life today. Amen.